Hello, now we're going to look at the user and cohort section of our mixed panel introductory reports. When you click on users, it will show you a real time feed of users who are recently active within your product. If you click on one of these profiles, it will open up a user profile. What does a user profile have in mixed panel? This is very closely tied to our data map model. So essentially in a user profile, you will have details of all of the actions that the user performed recently within your product. You will have information about the user profile properties describing this user's recent most status. You might also have additional information, things like their name, their email address if you're tracking it, their location, and details of when their profile was last updated. Now some of the things to bear in mind when it comes to looking at a user profile is that user profile properties tend to change based on the user's interaction with your product. Every time the user logs in, some of these properties will get updated. So essentially, the last time this person logged in, they were using this browser, they were using this device, but that can change with every consecutive login. Event properties, on the other hand, don't change. It's essentially taking a snapshot of what your user did in your product. So when they logged in in May and they performed a search for products, you are able to see some of the event properties that describe this action, letting you know that they logged in with a Safari browser, they were in so-and-so city and country, this was the email address that they used, um, they were essentially logged in from this region, uh, they came here through the Google search engine, and they searched for smartwatch. So these are some of the properties that describe the user's action, and this never changes no matter when you come back to this user's profile. Other things to bear in mind when it comes to users is you are also able to create cohorts. Now, what are cohorts? Cohorts are targeted audiences based on collective traits that matter the most to the metric that you're studying or analyzing. So for example, if I want to look at how many users signed up, for the very first time in the last seven days. And I want to build to this cohort by saying how many users did not complete a purchase in the last seven days. You can add many other filters and go really granular with defining your cohort but we're going to keep it simple and just select this group of 126 users. So I'm going to save this cohort as new users who did not buy last seven days. Now the magic of cohorts is this is a way of automating your work in Mixpanel. You don't have to come in and create this cohort again and again, and it allows you to reduce some of the work in building your queries. Once you've saved a cohort, you can use the cohort in your analysis across the different reports. Let's look at how that works. So I'm going to save this cohort. And then I'm going to go into an insights report. Here in the metric section, I'm going to select the cohort that I just created. And it's right here, new users who did not buy. And I can compare it to another cohort say users who uh, all of my new users for the last 30 days and I com can compare both of these cohorts side by side. What else can I do? How else can I build cohorts? I can actually build cohorts right from the insights view. So I can look at how many users purchased for the very first time in the last 30 days. I can represent this as a bar and I can break this down by payment method and create a cohort of just those users who performed a purchase with PayPal as a, as a payment method. And there you have it. This is how I can create a cohort and automate my work in Mixpanel. Now, how do you access your cohorts once you've saved them? Simply go to the data management section within your UI and select cohorts. This will provide you a detailed list of all of the cohorts that were created by you 
as well as any of the cohorts that were shared with you or created by anyone else on your team. What can you do with these cohorts? So you can, of course, share these with your colleagues. You can um, duplicate it and use someone else's cohort, or you can set up an integration with a third party tool like an Airship or a Braze, and you can actually automate some of your cohort syncs straight from Mixpanel. 